Okay, so we've got a good one here today for you guys. I'm going to be talking about dealing with losing streaks when you're playing poker online. Now, I'm going to give you some advice for this because I feel like it's something that's not talked about a whole lot, and I'm going to show you some sick losses I've had in the last month playing on Bovada. Of course, as I'm getting into this topic, if you guys are looking for some great poker sites and resources, we'll have some links below in the description. Also, feel free to comment about any of these hands or maybe a losing streak you've been on and you know kind of your poker journey i always respond to comments on the channel it usually takes me a day or two but i always get back to people okay and you're also going to want to stick around to the end because you know all of these hands are pretty sick um honestly so uh you know get ready for it okay so it's going to come up right after this jack 10 uh, we're gonna have our first hand here with an ace queen also these hands are mostly going to be at the $500 cash games um, I mix it up between the $200 and $500 been playing a little bit more of these lately and um, I've been doing pretty good uh, definitely up a significant amount uh, but like I said uh, we got our first hand coming up here which was uh, pretty crazy right after this now anytime I've lost you know a significant amount whether it's you know $500 or $1,000 you know on the day Typically, the best thing you can do, and this this is it, this is the hard truth, is to just quit for the day. Um, you know, poker, and I say this all the time, it's a long-term thing. It's going to be here tomorrow. And, you know, if you're not in the right headspace, you're just going to lose more money. It's just the truth of it. Okay, so here we go with an ace-queen suited in the big blind. Now, I kicked this up, uh, obviously, three-betting. Now, we missed this flop completely. Um, you know, uh, we do have some runner-runner possibilities here, but I, you know, uh, after three betting, I had I felt like I had to put in some kind of continuation bet here, so I did. And the turn card was really good for us. Okay, so we've got two overs to this board, plus we've got the nut flush draw. I decided just to shove it here, hoping he would fold, honestly. Um, I wasn't really sure what this guy had. I kind of put him on a couple overs. Obviously, if he's got a set, we're in a lot of trouble here. Uh, but at the same time, I was putting him on like a hand, maybe like mine, ace, queen, ace, king, maybe a mid pocket pair, something lower, maybe tens or jacks, which would, you know, be hard to get away from right here. Um, anyways, I was absolutely shocked at what this guy had uh, when he, you know, made this call. I thought this was pretty insane. Um, just based on how much strength I was putting into this hand, he was willing to risk his whole stack on this. And honestly, uh, I was just baffled he made this call, to be to be honest with you guys. All right, so he called me with a queen nine, and, you know, um, still can't believe he made that call, but he did. Now, this is probably the sickest hand I've played in a while right here. Um, we were doing pretty good in this session up, uh, you know, from 500 bucks to where we were at. We got dealt pocket nines. Uh, I made a call here. This guy raised from early position. This guy decided to kick it up, I think, to like 60 or 70 bucks. I made the call, obviously, because we could still make a lot of money if we hit a set. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, we did miss this board. But I wasn't exactly ready to fold because I realized we were still ahead of a couple hands. Obviously, ace king, um, ace queen suited. Uh, you know, we, we're still ahead of those hands. Um, so I wasn't exactly ready to fold this. I wanted to call the turn. Uh, interesting card because it did put a straight draw out there for us. Plus, a set could still be good here if he doesn't have a set or something like that. So this was a tricky card. Now, he checked it on the turn, which just smelled like weakness to me. Um, so I put a small bet out there, 60 bucks, just to see where this guy was at. Now, to my surprise, um, he came over the top here and it just did not feel right because why would you check the turn? It just did not make any sense to me. Um, to be honest with you guys, it felt like, it felt like he had, you know, the type of hand I was thinking here, ace king or ace queen, um, you know, and he was just trying to get us off of our hand. And I really let this tank for a bit because, you know, we still have outs here. If we hit the eight, you know, we've got the straight. If we hit the nine, we could still be good here. But why would you check it on the turn like that? And he did it so fast um, that it just did not make any sense to me. It really felt like ace king, maybe like an ace king suited, something along those lines. It just felt like it. 
Um, ultimately, I am going to make the call here, and I think you're going to be shocked, probably very shocked at this because it was it was insane. Super crazy, and you can see how long I tanked on this. Um, just this was unbelievable. <laughs> Get ready for this. Okay, so I made the right call. Unfortunately, hit the king on the river, and you know my gut was right. Um, it just didn't work out for us right there. But I made a really, really tough call, and um, you know that hand was it was just so sick, guys. All right, next hand I tried to make a play. The next couple of hands I really just tried to make plays on, and I thought I actually did a good job of it for the most part. You're going to see here with this jack four suited, um, raising in late position. You know, <clears throat> these are the type of hands you need to be raising with more in these shorthanded cash games, or especially when everybody folds around to you. I talk about this a lot, but, you know, you got to play a lot of more mediocre hands. You know, truthfully, it's how you play the hands against the players you're playing and board textures, things like that, and, um, you know, being able to bluff people when you don't have the best of it. This is just one of those situations where, you know, it was interesting. Anyways, we hit uh, we hit a four here, a couple threes out there, um, and you know uh, we're still ahead of high cards like you know ace king and you know ace queen things like that. We're losing higher pocket pairs, obviously, but okay, kind of a safe turn card as well. I mean, an eight out there, and you know I'm asking myself, what does this guy have? Uh, he could have a mid-pocket pair, high-pocket pair, but he could also have like an ace-king type of hand. I had to really think about this a little bit um, before I, you know, made the move I'm going to make. Okay, so he bet big here, and he was saying, hey, buddy, I've got a big hand, um, you know, but for whatever reason, I just didn't believe him, so I came over the top here, you know, just kind of going for it. Another thing I got to point out, these hands that I lost obviously spread out over, you know, a couple of months. So, um, you know, this stuff happens and you're not going to win every time you play. But, you know, as long as you're analyzing your play and looking at things you could have done better, you know, I think it is what it is. Okay, so we weren't drawing dead when he made that call, but I got to give I got to give props to that guy in that hand. He did really make a good call. Uh, that was not an easy one by any means. But he got me, and, um, you know, we paid the price on that one. My bluff didn't get through. Okay, in the final hand here, we have a, a king-queen, but I, I do want to kind of come back to the dealing with losing streaks when you're playing. you got to realize it happens to everybody. You know, the best thing you can do, and it's the hardest thing to do, is just quit for the day. But, you know, I keep saying this, you know, Poker is going to be here tomorrow, um, you know, <clears throat> so you got to look at it as a long-term thing. Also, don't be checking your results on a daily or weekly basis. You really want to look at, you know, the overall month of how much you profited, how do you play, things like that. It's just, it's so, so important. And uh, this was a, a situation here with the king-queen where, you know, I kind of went forward here. We were suited, trying to, you know, put the bluff on this guy. And um, yeah, I mean, just going for that bluff. And since he kicked it up pretty high, I just made the call here. Really no reason to re-raise it. All right, terrible board for us. Um, but he doesn't necessarily have to have an ace, and I do realize that, so I wasn't exactly ready to fold. Um, he checked it pretty quick. Turn card was an eight. Now, he could have a lot of different pocket pairs, clearly, you know, Kings, queens, jacks, things like that. Okay, so I tried to put the bluff on here, either representing a flush or having the ace. One of the two, really. 
Um, just based on how this guy was betting, I just felt like he was weak. So I tried to pounce on it. I think one of my mistakes here was betting this too quick. I probably should have let it sit for a second. Okay, he really let the clock run, and I did not like seeing this. Sick, sick call. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next poker video.